let's go on to another guy now whose college production was, I don't know, bad, maybe. I don't know how to, how to best summarize what Max Christie did at Michigan State. He's a 6'6 six, six, uh, wing, 6'9 six, wingspan. He averaged nine points on a true shooting of 49%. He averaged one and a half assists, half a steal. Like these are all bad numbers. Like I don't know what I can say that's good about these numbers. He hit 82% from the free throw line. That's pretty good. Um, he's got good size, but is that what we're banking on? Like, because these numbers are, are are really quite bad. Yeah, there's really no statistical, you know, reason to take Max Christie in the first round. But, you know, it's all hypothetical. It's all, you know, projections for him. He does have good size. He has probably the best looking jumper in the class. It just didn't fall for him at Michigan, Michigan State for whatever reason. I project him to be a knockdown shooter at the next level, though. I have him you know, just outside the first round in like the 35-ish range. So I'm willing to bet on a 6'6 wing who I think will be a knockdown shooter. He has some defensive potential here and there. He definitely needs to lock in at that point and get a lot stronger. He's got a pretty skinny frame right now. He was only a freshman, so there's definitely room for growth there. I think he's in. He's just what the NBA is looking for if he reaches his max potential, right? He's a 6'6", 6'9 wing who can be a knockdown 3 and D guy. I think if you get that guy and you get his max potential, then you, you're looking at a really, really solid starter. Uh, it's just all hypothetical at this point with them. Yeah, that's the thing. Look, he's got age on his side. He's quite young. He's got that good size, but no production. And you compare that with these some of these other guys that yeah around that area, like yeah, Kendall Brown had some real struggles this season. You've got um, yeah Christian Brown um, from Kansas again. That similar size, obviously a little bit of an older prospect. These similar size guys, players with poor production, Patrick Baldwin Jr., Peyton Watson, who are a little bit taller, but they're still that switchy wing size guy that you're looking at and going, well, if it works, it's everything we need. And just didn't in college for, for a lot of these guys. So in comparison to, say, yeah, Baldwin and Watson, who I think are, are similar in terms of the complete lack of production in college, but still the measurables and the pedigree associated with them is high. How do you sort of compare those guys? Admittedly, playing slightly different positions, but you know, two through four interchangeability wing size guys. Um, how do you view those three together? Yeah, so I have Patrick Baldwin Jr. a little higher than those two guys. Uh, Watson... And Christy, I have, you know, in the mid 30s, Patrick Baldwin Jr. I still have in in the mid 20s, just because, I mean, Patrick Baldwin Jr. is basically kind of a throwaway year uh, at Milwaukee. Uh, I'm buying the the high school tape and just him being a knockdown shooter at 6'10". And just it was just a bad situation that he was in at Milwaukee. So not trying to, you know, dampen his obviously it was a bad year but not trying to put too much stock into that one bad year he only played 11 games there so it's not a huge sample size didn't really have any help so that's why i'm I'm still holding some stock in patrick baldwin uh and then you know peyton watson's kind of a different story because he just didn't get the minutes ucla was a good team gunning for the final four gunning for a championship didn't really trust an 18 year old lanky freshman who you know was struggled offensively but really had some solid defensive flashes i mean he's long he's athletic he basically takes up the whole entire court when he's there standing in the paint so uh i have i have watson a little higher than christy but at the end of the day i think anywhere in between the 25 to 35 range for these guys they're all pretty pretty close together 